Good morning, everybody. Hello, Hello. we're back. Um, it's Monday. Oh, it's it's Monday. Yes, it's just kicked off just now. Look, it yes, just says we're just, live. It's just just gone That's buzzy, good. buzzy, buzz, buzz. <laughs> um, and hopefully, oh, there's Barbara. Barbara. Morning, Excellent. Barbara. Excellent. Good morning. It's always reassuring when when somebody's name pops up um, <laughs> and the whole thing's worked. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes the whole thing worthwhile, doesn't well, it? Really? It, it? Well, it's worthwhile anyway. Worthwhile anyway. But yes, it is helpful when you feel as though you're talking to somebody. And Nick, good morning. Morning, Nick. Morning, Nick. Um. So, um, today is Mary Sumner Day. Indeed. Um, it is in fact the centenary of her death. death. Yes. to get that right indeed centenary of her death today um she for those who don't know uh was the founder of the mother's union she was graham and i are both members um brenda if she was around is a member um and the mother's union locally are providing cakes for raf families on saturday at odium mm. as it happens um so if uh, you can bake a cake um i am happy to pick it up on Friday and de deliver it to where it needs to be um, so yes um, uh, important important occasion as far as we're concerned today at least mm. um, uh, Brenda I suspect is not with us because it's Kev's birthday it is happy um, birthday if Kev if Brenda appears happy birthday Kev Indeed. if you see what I mean so um, we're going to use common worship. The psalm is 71. It's quite a long one, but we've decided to go for it on this our first day back. And Graham's going to read it all. <laughs> um, <laughs> all of it? All of it. It's, it's what you get volunteered for when you go out and do the shopping first thing on a Monday morning. Oh, yes. Because he was heroic. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. You, you'll, you'll be blessed by our witterings again, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, among other things this morning, we will be praying for children receiving exam results this week, teachers who had to do the assessments this year, and the parents to be level-headed about the results and their reactions to them. There we go. Don't There's... read the newspapers tomorrow, guys. It's going to be waffle from wall to wall. Celebrate with the kids and don't read the newspapers. <laughs> Guess what he's doing tomorrow, right? And he won't be with us on Thursday because that's the GCSE results yeah, day. Exactly. However, right? Okay, let's take a moment of calm, less wittering, and we will work our way through this chance to worship and pray together. Open our lips, O Lord and our, our mouth, mouth shall, shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all. To you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we awake, refreshed from the depths of sleep, hopefully, <laughs> open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will that the world may rejoice and give you praise blessed be god father son and holy spirit blessed, blessed be, be god, god forever. forever and so the night has passed the day lies open before us or the rest of the day lies open before us and so we pray with one heart and mind We can use this time just to reflect on uh, the things on our to-do lists for today and just to commit them to God so that those, those things are part of our offering to him this day. And so as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, 
So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Okay, Psalm 71 then. In you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence, even from my youth. Upon you have I leaned from my birth, when you drew me from my mother's womb, my praise shall be always of you. I have become important to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me away in the time of old age, forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him. Pursue him and take him, because there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O my God. Let those who are against me be put to shame and disgrace. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and salvation all the day long, for I know no end of the telling. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I will tell of your wonderful works. Forsake me not, O God, when I am old and grey-headed, till I make known your deeds to the next generation, and your power to all that are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. In the great things you have done, who is like you, O God? What troubles and adversities you have shown me, and yet you will turn and refresh me and bring me from the deep of the earth again. Increase my honour, turn again and comfort me. Therefore will I praise you upon the harp for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing out as I play to you, and so will my soul which you have redeemed. My tongue also will tell of your righteousness all the day long, for they shall be shamed and disgraced who sought to do me evil. Thank you, darling. It's all right. There's a a lovely theme in that to do with generations um, handing handing down um, our faith from generation to generation Um, God being sort of there throughout and guiding our uh, our works our doings um, during our lives and uh, certainly you know those of you who know uh, my story um, and to some extent Graham's um, will know how much um, the Mother's Union has played a part in, in that sort of generational handing down of, of um, ministry and, and faith. Um, not since birth in my case, um, but certainly I count as honorary parents um, some of my uh, Mother's Union friends. And uh, there is a really strong sense that actually, for me anyway, my ministry grew out of my work with the Mother's Union. Mm. Which the phone ha- call from God, really, the wasn't it? The phone call from God, yes. You can ask me about that another day. Um, but, you know, it wasn't something I'd planned, but it was very definitely something God had planned. Mm. Um, and that's really important, that sense of um, doing our best to hand down our understanding of faith, our commitment to family life, 
um, which is also you know very much here hidden within this sort of psalm this sort of and certainly in the work of, of Mary Sumner mm. um, and and how important family life is and if that means you know taking time out to prioritize um, family because they need help support encouragement or mm. celebration mm. Um, though that's actually really important that is part of our um, Christian ministry um, and our, certainly our witness um, yeah so that's um, sort of where I am this morning um, perhaps we can remember those who whether they're alive or dead have, have played a part in our faith journey the people who are our um, spiritual parents uh, and, and just been there for us um, through our lives as, as Christians mm. um, and beyond so I'm going to pray the prayer that comes at uh, the end of that psalm and then I'll probably suggest we do the Benedictus which again is very much uh, a family prayer um, the Song of Zechariah Faithful Lord Living Saviour in youth and old age, from the womb to the grave. May we know your protection and proclaim your great salvation to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. There we go. What are we doing? Ah, there. There, he says. There we are. Right, okay. Should we say this together from verse one? Do you want the refrain as well? No, we won't do that. Just go one to ten. One to whatever it is, yes, ten. Okay, cool. Do that. Wonderful. Go for it. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into in the, the way, way of peace. Excellent. Well, we turn to a time of prayer. I've done my best to update the prayer list based on the sorted emails that I've gone through since um, we came back off holiday and conversations we've had at church yesterday. Mm. So I'll use that in a few minutes. Lord, we give you thanks for family life, uh, for the gift that you give us through loving and nurturing relationships, whatever form that they take. We thank you for uh, the spiritual gift uh, of being able to uh, share our faith within uh, our family units. We pray that uh, your word will be heard from our mouths and into the hearts of new generations within our uh, family and uh, sort of inner circle. Lord, we thank you for uh, the work of the Mother's Union, for 
for their uh, support of family life in a whole variety of ways. Uh, we remember, especially in this area, the Mothers' Union Family Holiday and all the amazing work that that's done and the support it's given to families that many of us uh, will know, uh, even if we've not been supported by them directly ourselves, which may be the case. Giving um, just um, emotional um, rest and support, but also uh, spiritual support to families in need. And we praise and thank you for uh, those who've come to faith as a result of the work of the Mother's Union. And as I thank you, Lord, for my own uh, ministry journey with the Mother's Union, I just ask you that you will bless its work as it continues to uh, encourage and strengthen faith within family life. We continue to pray for the needs of the world. We remember Myanmar, uh, Dina E. Link, and the situation there where they live under control of a military junta who are restricting access to um, all sorts of things including uh, Covid me medication and, and uh, oxygen uh, as a means of controlling uh, the population. We pray for Christians there who are particularly persecuted by this situation. We pray for protection for those uh, who are um, ill or restricted in their work or other occupations because of their faith. Give grace and strength to all of them and those in other countries that we're aware of who struggle to live an ordinary life because of the uh, greed for money or for power of others. for our schools, Lord, um, particularly our secondary schools and sixth forms in this week as uh, results and so forth are announced. Uh, we pray that just as the teachers um, have worked so hard to make uh, this incredibly difficult year fair and reflective of students work that their just as the children's work is acknowledged so might the teachers we pray for patience uh, for parents who perhaps might stress over what the results their children receive might mean for their children's future, for understanding that exam results are not the be all and end all of life at 16 and, and 18 and there is so much else that uh, our children need to, to learn of the world and actually just being uh, good and responsible citizens is, is an important skill 
in itself for which there is no real exam. We pray that you encourage our teachers and other school staff but so others who um, at this time are perhaps uh, struggling with uh, difficulties, tiredness, um, administrative issues, um, perhaps supply issues in the uh, um, commercial sector because of the uh, ongoing impact of, of the situation we're living with. We pray for common sense, for fairness, for justice, for people to have purpose, particularly if they've become uh, unemployed or um, had to take a career change uh, because of the pandemic. We ask you, Lord, to be with each of them that we know who might be struggling at this time. We particularly uh, name those who have asked for prayer. Um, there will be others that each of us knows. Um, we give thanks for uh, those who have experienced healing the renewal of their strength that we name particularly uh, little Noah young Ruby and now her granny who are both ill the young lad who had a motorcycle accident called Boris Rue from St Peter's Gary Chris and Pete Jed, Adrian and Sean, Anne, Jeremy, Brian and Beryl, Stephen, Margaret and Norman, Joan and John, and Daniel and Lawrence. We pray that you will give each of them healing, hope, patience and comfort. Faithful and loving God, who called Mary Sumner to strive for the renewal of family life, Give us the gift of your Holy Spirit, that through word, prayer and deed, your family may be strengthened and your people served. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. And we'll use the traditional words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Amen who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Brilliant. Well, it's good to have been with you again this morning. Yep. Um, lovely to have you gathered online. Um, hopefully I will get back into the routine of um, popping this up on YouTube so if you're watching on YouTube later 
or watching on Facebook later. Um, it's good to uh, have gathered. And uh, oh, oh Brenda, Brenda. Brenda, you were there. Excellent. And, and Happy Mandy birthday, well. Kev. Happy birthday, Kev. Yes, <laughs> indeed. And uh, yeah, I don't know whether whether Kev joins you for prayers, but uh, perhaps he does. Oh, and Margaret was there as well. Oh, we Excellent. were we were a proper gathering in Excellent. the end. Excellent. Go well. God bless all. Bye bye now.